Hi everyone, my name's Joe Kiss and this is the KissPrinciple.net. Time for the weekly word, but I'm going to turn the weekly word into a bit of an Easter message as well, since it's Good Friday at the moment. The message to you this time is, when the cross doesn't seem to make sense, or does it really make sense? You know, when we look at um, mankind right from the very beginning, I'm not going to go into all the details of a Sunday school lesson or anything like that. We all know the story. God created mankind. Um, he gave mankind dominion and authority in the garden. And of course, mankind decided to misuse it and abuse it. And as a result, mankind fell. Now, I want you to think about that just for a moment. God himself was not obligated to do anything about it after that. You know, it wasn't his fault. What happened in the garden was our fault. So God could have turned around and said, you know what, mankind? That's it. But how many of you know that that was not it? You know, God decided to prepare right through the time and generations his process to redeem mankind back. And that's what we see when Christmas first came around. That's Jesus, his gift to mankind to redeem us. He's on planet Earth now. And then Jesus grew up to be an adult to when we come over to Easter. And we see that one of the most powerful acts ever done in human history, where God took the sin of the world and put that on his only begotten son. Now, I want you to think about that just for a moment because, you know, we see Jesus on the cross and we see the pain that he endured. We saw the physical pain and we see some of the emotional pain that he went through. But I think that there is a greater pain than that as well. So what is it? If you really think about it, right back from the beginning, and God, the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they've been around forever. Jesus was never disconnected from God the Father, except for one moment in time. And that is when the sins of the world were put upon him on that cross. God the Father turned his head away. And I think for Jesus, that has to have been one of the most indescribable pains that you could ever go through. Now imagine if you know you got parents, mother, father, you were so close to them that all of a sudden they just decided to go. They disappeared. Nowhere to be found. I believe that's what Jesus felt like, that when God the Father turned his head away from him, that was the first time that he felt well and truly alone. Why? So that one of the biggest and most powerful moments in history could take place. People, us, that were once separated from God, from that beginning of time of what happened in the Garden of Eden, so that we can be brought back and reconciled with God the Father. Now that makes you think sometimes, at least it makes me think, that isn't there something that we should be doing when we see a powerful message like this one? And now this is where you could turn around and say, you know what, sometimes with our logical brains, the cross doesn't seem to make sense. But in a way, the cross makes perfect sense. This powerful act was a gift that was given to us. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that I or you or anyone, for that matter, can do to earn God's respect, to earn God's love, to earn God's acceptance, to earn God's forgiveness on this one. So what do you do about something like this when it doesn't seem to make sense? There is only one thing that you can do. The Bible says 
while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. It's a gift. What do you do when you have a gift that's been given to you? You graciously receive that gift. How do you do that? It's very simple. You don't need to do anything fancy. You don't need to do anything um, to try and win God over on this one. All you have to do is just humbly come to God and say to him, you know what, God, I think I messed up. And I believe with all my heart that Jesus, you died on that cross for me personally. And there is absolutely nothing that I could do to make myself right with you except just to say, thank you, you did this for me. It's a gift. And I receive that gift from you. Thank you so much for that, God. And I will do my best to live my life in a way that is acceptable and pleasing to you. Don't need to get myself worked up or do anything of the such to try and make God love me or, or, or get God to accept me. He's already accepted you. He's accepted me. Anyone that's humble enough just to come to him like that and say, Hey God, thank you so much for what you've done. And that, my friends, is my weekly word. And that is also the Easter message on this Good Friday. Wow, I can hardly wait till Resurrection Sunday. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. He conquered death. He conquered the grave. He conquered life itself. What a powerful message. Thank you so much for watching this video, this weekly word. And also, don't forget to subscribe to us at thekissprinciple.net. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like us on our Facebook page. Have a very blessed Easter. God bless.